everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you something that I saw Nick the Booksmith do. Now, she's, I'm going to be honest, kind of my favorite YouTuber. Um, way back when I started with her really and I did a video, she did the Desert Island Challenge if you remember it. And we all had to do journals and we had to use just a few items and that was I want to say probably my first video I might have done a couple small ones but nothing of any substance and I think that's probably my largest viewed video to date also um, so Nick the booksmith kind of holds a special place for me and she's kind to everyone. I don't think that there's a selfish bone in her body. She doesn't have to do three, four, five videos a week. Um, and what she does is is different. She's She doesn't take after anybody else. Anyway, enough about that. Um, but anyhow, I saw this on her video. And I would, would like to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so I did. It's a manila envelope, and I'm not going to give you the details to it because you can go watch her. She does tell one of her um, um, mystery, she talks about one of her um, crime solving things that she watches and does, um, but she sh gives you great detail on how to put this together. But I did want to tell you one thing. When you go to do the part where there is chipboard inside both here and here um, you have to put something down in there so you can cut through the envelope on this end um, she used like a metal plate that I want to say probably came out of a die cutting machine I want to show you what I used I had um, this cutting mat forever I want to say forever and it fit down in there as you can see pretty good I did have to scooch it a little bit up and down when I cut but not much but then I found these at the Dollar Tree now granted they're not a dollar anymore I think everything's a dollar and a quarter but I mean this was perfect and it's easy to carry I did this when I was away on one of my little traveling weekends <clears throat> so anyhow watch Nick and she'll give you all the details on how to put this together but I want to show you what I did um, I'm going to make this my 2022 creative journal and what that means is I took packing material that comes out of all my goodies that I get from Amazon <laughs> and whoever else and anything that I create this year I'm going to put it in here now I'm showing you this a little prematurely because I am going to write a little bit about what it is um, for instance I've talked to you about the um, challenge in Boho Daydreams Facebook group I'm an administrator there and we've been doing a collage challenge so this was my first one so these are some things that I have done so far this year now like this is a suitcase that I'm in the middle of gutting well no it's not a finished project but do you know how long it took me to do that so that's what I want to show myself like sorting buttons the, sorting those buttons took me days hours each day to sort all the buttons that I had and then my container wouldn't be small enough I'd had I mean big enough I had to find something bigger burr, 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 burr. Um, so anyhow that's what this is this is me coffee staining some paper not very exciting but it's something that you have to do in order to get your journals ready these are some mushroom caps again the finished thing isn't done but I spent a lot of time on them um, so as you know I look back at this I can say wow I have done this much in just January <laughs> so that's why I wanted to get this out there to you and like I said it's a little premature I still want to do a closure on it I know this is going to get gator mouthed but I tried to do it where one page would be a week um, and January's turning out that I've done a little bit more than I thought I would <laughs> but um anyhow give it a try like I said you know go watch Nick and I'll put her link down below to that exact video 
Um, but make yourself something and follow your creative process, even if it's just for this year and you don't ever do it again. You'll be surprised at the things that you do that, you know, are what we would say maybe busy work, but they have to be done in order to get the final project accomplished. All right. Um, so I will probably come back to this at another time, maybe when I get the, you know, the closure done and I get some, I get some verbiage in here to talk a little bit about things. And I realized that I didn't even take a picture of this. So that'll have to go in there too. Um, but anyhow, I do appreciate it. And I want to remind you that I do my best to do a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I am on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and then, of course, my own private Facebook. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and I have a Pinterest. Come check out my boards and see what I'm thinking about. And I also do have a small Etsy. I have some blueprints in there, some art journals that are kind of more for maybe beginners, um, a lot of different papers in it. And then I do have some digitals. And then I um, don't forget my leather book plates. I um, punch those out. And I've got a pretty good assortment, and I think they're also a pretty good price. So with that being said, I appreciate your time and checking me out. And go check out Nick, my buddy, and I will catch you down the road.